In this video, we will be studying about the economic planning. Now, what is economic planning? See, we all have heard about the plans that government make and present in the every budget. Now, these, these are our plans. We will be focusing on these, these areas. This much will be amount that will be spent on the areas, right? So, on this, what government do? Government makes the five-year plans. That what is the condition of India now? And what are the things we need to improve and focus on? And after five years, what will be the improvement and how we implement the plans, what we have made? So every uh, fifth year a new plan is being made and then it is implemented and after five years the results are being checked. So now what is the economic planning? Economic planning planning means utilization of the country's resources resources in different development activities activities in accordance with national priorities now you are utilizing the country's resources and you are making the plan so that you your country may achieve the uh, growth and development and you keep the national priorities what are your national priorities so under this what happens the central authority here for the making the plans it is the planning commission of india commission of india sets defines a set of targets to be achieved within a specific period of time keeping in view the needs and means of the country and means of the country now in this there is central authority it defines the set of the targets which they have to fulfill and the uh, within a specific period of time and keeping in view the needs and means of the country economic planning with and without the free play of market forces what do you mean by see free play a free play of market forces the free play of market forces means that the producers are free to allocate resources according to the supply according to the sorry demand in the market and maximize their profit see before what was used to happen the uh, production was done for the social welfare so that the everybody in the economy could purchase those goods but now what uh, the free play of market forces means that on the basis of demand and supply the prices are being set so the producer were given chances to earn the profit out of it so they will earn the profit they will produce the different varieties of goods and this will help the economic growth see in 1982 soviet union was established 
Now, what was the main objective of the Soviet Union? They used to work on the princi principle of statism, which means the government has the control and the free play of market forces were not allowed to take decisions themselves right so they were not allowed to take their own decisions whereas it was working on the principle of statism that is the central authority will take the decision and maximize the social welfare it is a model of socialistic society briefly called as socialism all the decisions are kept in the hand of government whereas the producers or the consumer itself cannot take the decision see when india was backed by the soviet union decision it completely uh, helped in the development programs uh, the good results were seen but after that there was a need to convert the india from the statism to the hands of the free play of market forces so while in the soviet union planning was based on the principle of statism whereas with the free play of market forces were kept aside in india based on the principle of mixed economy now india has converted the soviet union policy into the mixed economy which means that both the government plays the role as well as the free play of market forces play the role so at the same time planning in india was not simply a directive planning as under capitalism that is only the uh, you know free play of market policy uh, market forces will decide the prices whereas it is the comprehensive planning which is the mixed economy where the government as well as the market forces jointly take the decisions so i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us